For those of you that have been looking for a sausage dumpling recipe, a little bit more ethnic German, we got the recipe for you and a dessert. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Rhonda Fitterer. And I'm Laverne Beatty. And we got a couple submitted recipes from Denise Brozart here in Dickinson, and she's a, a wonderful cook. Thank you, Denise, for submitting these. And she's got a sausage dumpling recipe that I just know is gonna be great. It is. Sausage sauerkraut in there. And yes, see that just yeah. it just made it a little bit more German right That's there. That's right, yes. And we also have a mandarin orange bars. It's a it's a lot of twos in there. So get your paper and pens handy. Come along, cook with us. Pause your DVR if you got one. If not, just write fast. All right, the ingredients that you're gonna need for the sausage bake are one package of Jimmy Dean sausage, a small onion, and we're gonna need a large can of sour sauerkraut. And then for the dumplings themselves, we're gonna need three eggs, three teaspoons of water, and a cup of flour. And then a lot of baking after that. So I'll, get, I'll hand that recipe over to you because I'm sure that's probably what we're gonna start with. Okay. And then we got mandarin orange bars. These sound awesome. Two cups of flour, two cups of white sugar, two tablespoons, excuse me, two teaspoons of, of soda, two eggs, two small cans of mandarin oranges. How easy is that? Two, 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 two. And then for the frosting, we're gonna need two and a third cups powdered sugar, a stick of butter, a package of cream cheese, eight ounces, a fourth teaspoon of vanilla, and that's what we're gonna frost these little bars with. Oh, that sound good? I mean, that be awesome. recipe is so easy, it, it is. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is actually get that mixed up and put it in the oven. Okay. I've got the oven preheated to 355. Okay. And uh, this takes from uh, 30, 35 to 40 minutes to bake, so let's get this in the oven. Okay. And again, it. It's so easy. Now, with the two cans of mandarin oranges, we're gonna drain one can. Okay. And the other can we're going to put in with the juice. Okay. So I'm gonna just set that on here so that drains. Okay, like we said, we have two cups of flour. Okay. Uh, two cups of sugar. And we have two teaspoons of baking soda because we're going to dump all that in there. Okay. So we don't have any other, uh, you know, well, we have the eggs yet to go in there. And other than that, that's going to be it. So, okay. You know. And again, it's very easy to mix up. You don't really need a, a, a mixer, just a good spoon and a little bit of elbow grease. You could use a mixer then. You could. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on what kind of day you had, you may need a mixer. Okay. And because, you know, just the, the two eggs in there with the, the flour is not going to be enough moisture to get it mixed up, we're going to add the can of uh, mandarin oranges, and this one was with all the liquid in it. Okay. And this is going to be... Um, you know, a fairly thin batter. Okay. So don't worry about that. Then we're gonna have a nine by 13 pan. This one you're gonna uh, grease, so I'll have you spray that. Okay. I'm gonna get this mixed up uh, really good before I add the other can of mandarin oranges that we've All got right. drained. And it makes a very pretty. It's so now you're kind of whipping it up that that's breaking the, the oranges up. That's what we want. We don't want them whole pieces. Well, you know, uh, right, it's going to mix up. And, you know, actually when you're baking it, it's going to kind of mix, I mean, bake up too. It's not going to stay in chunks. Okay. But the first one I'm putting in here was with the um, juice in there, so I want to get that mixed up good. Then when I put the ones that are drained in there, I'm going to fold those more in there than really mixing it. So you're going to have a, a little bit of each. Okay. So like I said, just a little bit of elbow grease, getting that mixed. And it ha helps if you have a good bowl that isn't sliding that you can hang on to it. It makes a lot of difference. Or a good mixer. Or a good mixer. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Now, as you can see, you know, it is pretty thin. Okay. And I, when I add the other mandarin oranges, it'll probably even, I mean, it's going to make it a little bit thinner, even though it's drained. Okay. All right. So we're going to put that in our pan. And so, yep, I got it all greased up, ready to go. Right. So this is a really easy uh, bars to mix up. You couldn't have it any simpler. And then when it's done and it cools off a little bit, we got an awesome cream cheese frosting to go yeah. over this. So it's one of those going to be yeah. a crowd pleaser. It, it will be. Okay. So we have that there. We'll set that aside. Okay, so we're going to put that in the oven. All right. Open that up. And like I said, we're going to put that in for 35 minutes. And then, of course, you know, you always check it. You, If anything says, you know, when you're baking 25, 30 minutes or whatever, you just don't assume you put it in at 25 and just take it out. You always want to check. Right. You know, just, Touch the top to see if it springs back and see if it's done. Or do the Oak. knife or toothpick yep. or whatever yep. trick works for you. That's right. Now we're going to start, uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to, uh, I'll put my uh, burner on here. We're going to start with a package of Jimmy Dean. We're going to use the regular sausage okay. for this. So we're going to want to get that, you know, just cut up here. And while this is uh, going to be cooking here, uh, we're going to start um, our dumplings. Okay. And it, it's a, ha uh, a, a half of a smaller onion. Okay, so um, not a lot of onion. No, no, it, it's not. But uh, you still have a good half a cup here, if not just a little bit more. And we're going to put that in here right away when that sausage is going to be cooking here. So. Okay. All right, so we're going to... Get that aside, and the sauerkraut we're going to drain. Okay. So let's do that well, uh, and we all get a bowl to. In fact, I think we'll just use Don't this. Don't need one to here. make another one dirty That's there, right. Mom. And a large jar or a, can, a large can or anything like that that you have. So just get it in, in there so it drains. You know, there's different flavors of sauerkraut, isn't there? There is. You can get some with caraway seed, uh, um, different kind. See, it, so it just depends. I mean, this was just old-fashioned sauerkraut. But that's usually what you buy, even if you're making Reuben sandwiches or, right. you know, yeah. just a basic yeah. sauerkraut. But, you know, I, I I don't know why I don't try the caraway because I like caraway seed. Mm -hmm. I think that would be good, too. So anything that you have is going to be going to work well. So okay. While that's draining here, we're going to put that away. So let's go over here now. And, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry. I have <laughs> it right here. <laughs> I thought I had it over there. So what we're going to need for uh, our um, dumplings here is we need three eggs. So I'm All having right. to get the three eggs out of the fridge. And the uh, batter is going to be fairly thin, so we're going to just break them in there. I have already a cup of flour. Is this a pretty standard recipe for dumplings that if you were just making dumplings with other things like a soup or something that this is a pretty basic recipe? It is. You, um, now like if you were making Nephla soup, you know, you would have your, all you do is have uh, uh, your flour and your eggs. Okay. And, and, and a pinch of salt or whatever. So, so it was a cup of flour, three eggs, and it's three tablespoons of water. Okay. So I'm going to put that in there. And I think I'll use a different spoon other than my one that we use for the cake. So we're just gonna mix that up. And then we're gonna, I already got my kettle on with um, boiling water. We're okay. gonna add a little bit of salt to the water though too. And that, because we don't have salt in here, 
But you know, your sausage is going to be fairly, uh, you know, it's seasoned well already. Right. You know, especially, you know, your, like your Jimmy Dean sausage. So we just get that mixed up. And you know, your dough is going to be a little bit soft. Okay. But it, it's really easy to make those And it's those got a little bit, it's a little lumpy. It's not completely smooth. Right. Okay. Okay, so we're going to bring that over here to the stove. Okay. And get our water boiling. Let's get that sausage cut up. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt here to the water. And then when we drop our uh, dumplings in here, uh, we let them cook about three to five minutes, you know what I'm saying, see? And then we can add it right into the our kettle or our fry pan. And you know, I've Started with a pretty big one, yeah. So we're going to be able to um, put everything all in there at once. You know, you got the sausage, you have your onion, and when we have our dumplings in there, then we can add the sauerkraut in there and just heat that all up. And that it's really simple, but okay. it is very, very good. Okay. So yeah. How does a big fire pan? <laughs> it is. Another uh, thing you haven't seen in my house before. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's red. <laughs> I think I think you you manufacturers are starting to make red things just for for Laverne on cooking crave. Uh, so that I, yeah, even matches my apron. See? See, we got red. You would think red is your favorite color. <laughs> just about. Okay, so that's going to start cooking up there. Good, and my water is, I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit more. I had it boiling before and I turned it down. Okay. So um, when you're making your dumplings, stick your spoon in the hot water, and this way it'll come off easier. Okay, so, not going to stick. Right, it just... And you're not actually, I mean, show the viewers what you're actually putting on the okay. spoon, because you're not making big... No, I'm not... Quant you know, because those dumplings are going to... I'm not going to make it real big. And each time you do that, you just put your spoon into your water like that, and it comes off with the hot water, and it works works really good. Okay. So I'm going to just get this filled up here. And when your dumplings are starting to get done, they're going to float. They come to the top. And... You know, because dumplings are always so good at, I mean, this is a cup of flour with that. You could easily add a little bit more, you know, say another half a cup, three-fourths, or half a cup and use another egg. Okay. And I think you'd be, you know, just fine. Just depending on how many you need to make. Great. So this is very much like you're going to make Nephilus soup. You know, this is the way I make my... Out a dumplings for that. So, so I'm going to get a few more in here because I got plenty of room in my uh, water that we can. That you're not going to get it all in here, but it does. Okay. Seem, like I said, when the sausage is cooked, we're going to just take these out and we'll add them to the sausage and. Um, just turn turn the heat down low. You know. Would you use a bigger kettle to do it all at once, or they just cook up so fast that it still it just wouldn't matter? It, they cook cook up fast, you know. So okay. this is this is definitely sufficient. But like I said, each and every time you put your spoon in there in that hot water, even though that batter is very thin, it just comes right off. See now, family really likes the dumplings, and even when I make Nephilim soup, I will almost double the amount of dumplings I mm -hmm. put in there versus, you know, um, what they say, just because it is good. So I'm going to just leave that go there and let that boil uh, for about three more minutes, and by then the sausage should be about done. Okay. Because you want your sausage cooked before you add the dumplings. You oh, absolutely. Make, make sure that that's all cooked in that and 
you're seeing here where it's not gre really greasy. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing that you're going to have to drain. Okay. And that, so. We're going to get that. Just cut it up a little bit more here. Give it a few moments. And then we're going to just take a slotted spoon and be able to put the dumplings in here right away. Okay. And like we talked that, you know, Jimmy Dean sausage usually is uh, pretty, hot, pretty highly seasoned. So, okay. Um, and, you know, your sauerkraut in your jar has salt too. So you want to... Make sure you watch your salt that you're going to put in. So that's why, like I said, we only put it in the water and not actually in the dumplings. That almost looks like that is. That looks like it's almost, almost ready to go. Done. So I'm just going to, And, you know, we looked like it, we had not much on that spoon, but you get nice sized dumplings. They puff up and. Isn't that amazing just with. Uh, water flour and egg you can make a dumpling like mm -hmm. that and then they they puff up and they haven't been cooking that long at all so mm -hmm. very quick it is you know when they say three to five minutes um three minutes is usually you know adequate when you got your water really boiling in that so we're gonna we're gonna turn this down a little bit just to keep on, on low to keep it hot and we'll just put our uh, dumplings in there okay and I think that looks like that is done there so and I'm going to just go a little bit over here to the side so you don't splotch yep so like I said just put a slotted spoon there For these, in this winter coming up, this is going to be, I think, a recipe that our viewers are going to oh, like to try. I, I think so. I will. Denise had put on her recipe that this is the ultimate comfort meal. And I can definitely see that where mm -hmm. we have that, it, dumplings it, and... Yes, yeah, definitely. So I'm going to turn my water up just a little bit more. I mean, my burner to get that water just to boiling again. Okay. So it, it's a dish you can make pretty quickly. It's not going to take long to put this together. Oh, not at all. Yeah, that's your stuff. So, And that's what's important. When you get home from work and, you you know, your family's hungry and everything, you, you try to get something going as fast as you can so they're not snacking and, uh, you know, spoiling their appetite then. Now, when you you're, these don't take very long to make, but is this dumpling something that leftovers are going to heat up well? They're not going to get doughy or no? How, they do, how do you say it, glitzy? Uh, glitzy, yeah, that's what we <laughs> say in German. <laughs> I don't know how many people know that term, but that's what we grew up with. I mean, anytime we made dough food, you couldn't lift up the lid till it was done, or else it would get glitzy. And what that means, it kind of settles and it gets tough. You know, it's not light and fluffy and that. So, yeah, that's was our phrase, and I still use it to this day. <laughs> okay. So aren't you impressed that I listened to you at one point? That, that you actually, yeah, retained some of the things we had there. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to just, oh, I'll just scrape that out here. You're going to get some big ones now. A little bit, but you can't waste it, you know. There's no reason to for that, so I'll just okay. like they always say, good to the last drop. So we're going to let this let these boil for. Another couple of minutes, because, you know, it's almost a minute that they, we've had those in here. Okay. Isn't that, look 
interesting though, really good. Well, it's gonna be great. Yeah. yeah. You like dumplings, you like sausage, this is your meal. Yep, mm-hmm, and sauerkraut, which is, you know, I love sauerkraut, it's good. Now, are we just gonna put the sauerkraut, I mean, is that gonna get mixed in with this, that's gonna be one big casserole type, or do you just, how are we gonna right. go forward you know, with when that? When the dumplings are in there, and then we're gonna just uh, dump the sauerkraut in there and just heat it all up, and okay. then it's ready to serve. It's a one-pot meal. It is, because you can just take that pan there and just put it right in the middle of the table, and you don't need to make an extra dish dirty. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all love to wash dishes. You know, and I, I mustn't be too bad on washing dishes because I don't even have a dishwasher. I know. <laughs> we remodeled our kitchen, and I didn't even want to add a dishwasher. So, uh, I think it must be therapeutic for you to be over a sink just washing them up. Yeah. I like the, oh, let's put it in. I like all those conveniences yeah. that you can get in the kitchen. Well, you know, to me, it's not so convenient. You still have to rinse them off. When you put a stack them in there, you have to take them out and put them away. I wash them, and Dad wipes them, and they get put in the cupboard right away. So. <laughs> See, that's our bonding time. That's oh. our quality time is washing dishes together. <laughs> okay, so that's about it's done. I'll just give it a, maybe another 30 seconds because they're really they're floating to the top already, and that's usually... Um, one way you determine when a dumpling is done is that they float to the top. Okay. So, so if you so. would take it out too soon, it's just going to be doughy? Uh, right. Yeah. Um, you don't want, let's see. <laughs> well, I didn't know if that was the term, you know, being you were saying it was going to be tough before. Yeah. Well, it, uh, it does, and that's what it means. It just kind of settles and just gets... Blob. Yeah. It, it's just a blob of dough instead of light and fluffy. So we'll turn that burner off there because we don't need it. That'll be hot enough. And then our sauerkraut. In fact, if you want to bring that bowl over here. That smells like kraut. Okay. So I'll just put that a little bit closer here. And we'll get our dumplings, the rest of our dumplings in there. And it didn't look like there really was going to be a lot, but you know, it does make a nice. Oh, um, they, they puff yeah. up really nice. Okay. So we'll just set that to the side there. Okay. And I'll let you have rain over that now. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to turn up the burner a little bit here. So when we add the sauerkraut in there, it's going to be, you know, hot a little bit. We'll get it hotter there, so. I think this um, new fry pan that you have is bigger than most electric skillets. It Did it advertise like that, big as a skillet? It was on the clearance aisle. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the clearance aisle and I had another coupon, so it was like, I got room for that in my kitchen when I can get it for that price. And it's red. <laughs> and it was red. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we'll just get that This off. actually makes, once you put that sauerkraut and you got the dumplings in there, this is a very good portion meal for your family. It, 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 yeah, so when you start out with it, it doesn't look like it's going to be a lot. Mm -hmm. in that, but yeah, so. So, and it is nice that, you know, if you have an uh, electric fry pan or a skillet like this, that, you know, you can make it all in one and not have to, uh, you know, Make more dishes dirty. Okay. Do you think we're going to be able to wait to dine on this until our cake is done? Well, it depends if we can cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to just turn this down on low for now, and uh, then we'll be back. Um, we got another 17 minutes on our mandarin orange bars, and uh, okay. 
We'll see how that is. All right. Sounds great. See, we put that together and this together and in no time. Well, you could feed your family with this, and by the time everybody's done having their, their one or two or three helpings of, of this, this meal, yeah. then the oven's going to be going off, and then you have dessert. That's so right. It actually works out perfect. It, just perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll be back shortly. Sounds oh. good. Okay. And it kind of you know, makes it pretty golden, but there, yeah, that's done. Okay. Now we put it in, it was, how many minutes did you put it in again? We had it at 35 minutes and then I did check it and I put it in for another th three minutes. Okay. And that, so you see, and it springs nicely back to the touch. Okay. Um, you know, we're going to wait till that cools, you know, to uh, actually uh, frost it. But I made up the cream cheese frosting already and you can just see how light and fluffy this is. And again, that was um, stick of mar uh, butter, mm -hmm. uh, eight ounces of cream cheese, and like a, you know, a half to a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. And three cups of powdered sugar, and I just put it in my mixer, and I just let it mix while I'm doing other things. Because the longer you mix it, the lighter and, and the fluffier it gets, and also it spreads easier. Uh -huh. And actually, it goes further, you know, too, than if you don't have it mixed well, you just have more volume with this. Okay. So there. Now we're going to, let's look at our dumpling, sausage and, and sauerkraut here. That is great. So, you know, you know, just looking at it, you know, there's, there's so much in there with the dumplings and the sauerkraut. I think you could easily have more sausage in there if your family wants a little bit more meat in there. Absolutely. in their entree here no. and there's nothing to say that you you can't yeah. have more and you know what i when we were talking and, and it tastes very good um but i think i would just as would like to just go to the workshop and get their pork sausage and uh, use their sausage in this mm -hmm. absolutely because you know, i love their sausage and mm -hmm. i think that would be really good you know and this is just the regular jimmy dean and, and but you know you still have it fairly spicy right and right that, so Okay, you know, we have is this. there a way that we can just cut a little section out, maybe just drizzle just, a little yeah. icing on until it cools yeah. completely? No, you mean I can't actually find my spatula? Somebody wipe it and put it in the wrong area? Oh. It's very possible. Okay, I bet I'll have another one somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you have a kitchen store already. I'm thinking you have one or two. Yeah, so we're going to just take this out. It smells like said, very good. It is warm. And there, okay. And then we would just put a little frosting on there. And I know it's very warm right now, so I mean, you're gonna allow this mm. to cool, but yeah, you know, there's, there's probably gonna be um, some people fighting over this piece right here because it's just out of the oven. Out of the and oven and it's warm. It smells wonderful. Oh, doesn't it though? Oh, and I'll hold this plate. That. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I would like to thank Denise Brozart for submitting these recipes for us to cook for, for, for the viewers. I, I think that everybody is going to enjoy these recipes. Just go to Consolidated's website, www.ctctel, to get these recipes, and please submit your recipes for us to cook for you. Thank you always to The Workshop for being our sponsor. Enjoy your evening. Thanks for joining us.